Uh, today, more pruning, more pruning. Just finished getting the guy wires or the, the, the vines up. The fruiting zone is firmly established. But pruning, always more pruning. Uh, today, in particular, looking at suckers, getting them removed, especially from down low. stuff like this that has escaped pruning in the past for whatever reason. So all oh, this has got it. So if they're down low, they tend to be pretty tough to just rip out now. They're pretty fibrous. So we'll have to get in there with shears. So it definitely slows it down. If you can get this stuff earlier, it's better because they start to get uh, fibers. Let's see. Yeah, you can't quite see. Start to get fibrous in there and, and woody. But earlier on, we can just pull them like that. And we want everything, all this stuff out of here. If it's not up here in the fruiting zone, then it needs to go away. But we're already getting berries. Weeks and weeks yet before Verizon. Five points in the comments. What is Verizon? So back to it. Not much time for, for filming today. This is, we've got rows and rows to get through. Because uh, of course there are things that get missed and it, we've had such great, great growing weather that, that uh, even stuff that was was pruned or just small and was missed has you know blossomed into a bit of a challenge because this next one, same deal. A lot of growth needs to go away. Should look like that open underneath Okay, it's finally happened. I said I would never do this. Never, never, never. In fact, my students uh, across Alaska, if and, if and further further afield, know that there are three things that I make fun of. Like, always. Three things that I dislike very much in the field as we look at the adventure stuff, the adventure op options. Three things. So I won't list them, but I'll tell you what one of them is, and guess what? Just got this in the mail today. Get. Basically, you get a fully decked out kit from three piece um, collapsible paddle, hump, three fins, whole sticker set, uh, a leash, paddle leash, or a board leash, a repair kit in orange, you get you know, a strap, utility strap, and then you know, it looks like a pretty durable bag for the entire, it does all fit in the bag. Doesn't have wheels, but it's not that. Well, it's not heavy. It's, I wouldn't say it's light, but not heavy. So a bag to put it all in. She so got the complete setup. So I'll be interested to see how this pumps up, how quickly. I did order a couple other pieces that are coming in hopefully today. Uh, the electric uh, vehicle pump kit. 
mm, a few other parts pieces, but this is the basic. This is the option to get you from the shore onto the onto the water. about chocolate and it's gonna melt or no melt. yeah so non chocolate trail mix right well it might be nice at night or something, but that's what I was wondering okay. a night trail mix and a day trail mix. okay um, I have a starting at 8 a.m. and then one day goes by two days go by and on that third day in the evening is when I I don't know I'm hoping we finish before midnight. That'd be great. Well, you were estimating it looked like... I said 6.30 p.m. finish. You were estimating a, a pace of about six miles an hour plus all those times. Adding in two hours of being out of the boat. So you were you were saying six miles an hour plus two hours stoppage time. Um, I mean, our average so far has been five plus. Right. The river is going to be doing at least three miles an hour. It's in flood stage right now. Right. So we could probably count on seven to eight miles an hour, two but, hour stoppage time. If we, if we underestimate, we can really surprise ourselves. And make yeah, but we'd also surprise our support person who is not <laughs> at our checkpoint because we're going too fast. Right. Yeah. So that's I, why we have to have plan A, which you never follow. B, C, and D. Right. Plan A is to go fast. <laughs> Not... Should we plan A is fast? Well, no. whatever. Plan okay. Plan A is slow. How about that? Okay. Always. All right. Sounds good. I don't understand this man. <laughs> that is how so Dad works. I don't understand this man. I, we just all. We've done two races. Well, plan A is like, this is the A list. No, right? this plan is, A this is the great plan. Is the worst plan. <laughs> Plan for the absolute worst to happen, and then Plan B. Plan like, oh, B. Great. Oh, we plan B is usually your fallback, though. Plan B. Why those fall are all fallbacks? <laughs> Why fall back, though? Right. There's no fun in falling back. Exactly. No. So now you see my point. No, plan A becomes Plan B. Because you, like, your Plan A didn't work. You didn't make your. <laughs> so Plan A not working would mean we're going too fast. No, I mean you're going too slow if plan A is going too fast. If plan A is to go at six miles an hour, then we're going to be working on plan C, hopefully. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. then you're moving from a plan that had you being miserable and sad, <laughs> but still making it, to a plan that has you happy and excited because you're beating your time. That sounds so. like plan A. No. Sounds oh, like that. Do you, I, I think, do you hear the, your teammates here? 
Yeah. No, you two are No, quiet. just Liam. You guys aren't saying anything. Yeah, let's, aren't saying. let's go back in history. <laughs> Come on. Plan A is going what you're hoping for. No. No, no. In every, in every other setting. Plan A is, plan a is like, hey, this is what I would like to happen. But sure. sometimes you got to go to plan B, C, or D. Sure. Which is part of the, of the deal. But, but plan no, A is like, here. hey, wouldn't it be great if everything worked? Yes, but not That's for plan In a. a reasonable way. But that yeah. is just unrealistic, so we don't even have that. Plan. It's not going to happen. This is where the trip just ended right here. It's over. We can't do it. I can't work with these people. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Can't work with you. <laughs> you can't not. Yeah, not. Yeah, can't. can't, not, can't. Move. Well, we haven't even started paddling. You can't. Talk. You're not even paddling. Under. Well, I guess it still will be kind of sitting on that. Oh no, it'd be under. That's what I was thinking. Under the bungee, the rope part. Be through here and then under, and then so we're just a little hook would be right here. Nervous. <sighs> okay, oh, so yeah. we're making a change. Um, to our course, and so Greta and I are working through some of the details. Um, one of the stops, uh, what is it? It's something island. Franklin. 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 Mm -hmm. Franklin Island is washed out. Washed out. Yeah. Well, I guess there's boat access, <clears throat> but no road access. So we can get to the put in, no problem. Just can't get your so there's really no point. We can't get the car on the on the support crew in. So that's on river left, and we're gonna that's go on river, left. river right earlier, just like maybe less than a quarter mile. Okay, so we're looking at Boonville. Boonville. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. So I've got to design in a new stop onto our GPS and in reach mm -hmm. after I find. <laughs> Wherever that is. Let's see. Um, uh, anyway, we'll get to that. No, Boonville. There it is. What are we working on now, guys? Uh, final setups for both tech, tech, you know, so power, uh, navigation, sound, communications, and hydration. Very important stuff. Mostly the hydration. So, do you have the large side on the jacket or the small side on the jacket? The large side. Or the small side on the hose, or the large side on the hose? Well, they all have to be the same. That's the important part. Put it like this, so you can do it. I'm gonna assume... Well, let's go with ergonomics. Like, what makes the most sense? Yeah. Small one on the... this. I kind of think that's the way. Yeah. And then you're, you can protect the, the valuable part, because it's mm -hmm. attached to you. It's not getting thrown on the beach. Yes. Not that there's gonna be a beach. Wait, there's a beach? We're going to the beach? I thought we were suffering for three, three, four days. So, it's all in the wrist. There's a little bit of a, a wobble and a push, and you just keep going. Okay, so, quick disconnects. This one is a Mazama. You've got the two ends. This is for your replace or your exchangeable containers once they get emptied you get them replaced with a new one this part goes on your life jacket tube and you can disconnect it and connect it as water levels require well, any challenges <laughs> it's a little bit tricky oh, so i've got that it's far on the wrist okay i'm working on it troubles ouch i mean ouch <laughs> it's almost there Almost there. Alright, you got it. <laughs> oh, look! I'm not having trouble. I don't.
have these uh, hydration systems here. Um, and why we have these is because Nalgene's are really just not effective enough to be drinking water throughout the race because you have to stop paddling, grab your Nalgene, open it up, you know. Um, so now that we have these bite valves and these systems through here, every few hours we will change these out when they are empty by just disconnecting like so. It doesn't leak at all. And then when we get our new gallon check and <laughs> all right so our last day together as a c14 before we hit the road from oregon to kansas city kansas for the mr 340. gear check Chloe's going to be reading off We've got new new paddlers to the races so we're going to spread the load go for it all right, so the first thing on our list is the Missouri River map. Right here. Yep. Um, and we have PFDs for each paddler. All right, one, two, three, four. We're all set. Um, cell phone, extra batteries. Dad and I both have cell phones. Mom does. We've got batteries. All right. Extra paddle. We have an extra paddle. Okay. <laughs> um, line or rope suitable for towing. This, this, and we have one more of these on the stern of the boat bow. Okay, knife. Yep, knives on three of the PFDs and others stowed other way, other places. Uh, first aid kit. Right here. Matches. I have matches in my PFD, and we have matches in here as well. Emergency blanket. Each of us have emergency blankets, but there's another one. Uh, 12 hours worth of water. Okay. Yep. Each of us have a gallon plus now jeans. Um, for night travel, full red, green, white navigation lights as required by Coast Guard. That is in the bag behind us, not yet attached to the boat. Strong flashlight or spotlight. In house, charging. And then we have some recommendations from the um, website. We've got uh, marine radio. Communications right here in reach. Ground crew to follow racer for resupply for emergency. Check. Tent or shelter. Where is that one? We are looking for the, we have the pull for the mega mid, but we need the top to it. Still so digging. the actual shelter. Still uh, digging. Toilet kit. Got the toilet kit. Uh, bedroll. Right there. Mm, food. We'll be coolers. packing that. Yeah, coolers. Sunblock. Each of our PFDs should have sunblock in them and mine and dad's do right now. Hat. Yep, hats. Uh, sunglasses. I've got sunglasses. Uh, good footwear. Tacos! <laughs> yeah, I'm bringing water tennis shoes and flip flops. GPS. Three of them. <laughs> I've had three. <laughs> and, of course, as you should have all the time, wherever you go, duct tape. It's Check. in here. That's it. That is the MR340 checklist and recommendation list. All right, four years ago, Liam did his first ultra paddle race, and now it's Lily's turn. She's 15 years old, and uh, we get to do, I get to join her on her very first ultra paddle. Are you looking forward to it, Lily? <laughs> all right wrapped up gear check for the first c4 race we've done after four years of racing dad and i at least um we're switching it up bringing on two new two what are you doing back there <laughs> two new two new paddlers um excited to do a race 
in a totally different environment than we're used to. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be really hot. So a challenge for us. Subscribe to the channel. We're racing next week.